this demonstration, we are going to deploy Ansible um, template via the Visual Studio code. Now, let's first and foremost look at the extensions that we will require for this demo. You need to go to File, Preferences, and then go to Set uh, Extensions. And the two that we need for this particular demonstration is Ansible. As you can see, I have already got Ansible installed in my environment, but you need to go ahead and install it if you don't. And finally, the Azure um, account extension. And this allows you to log in and view your Microsoft Azure uh, subs um, um, subscriptions. So if you have a look here, this is the Azure extension. So we need to go ahead and log in. So just before we do that, we need to um, log in, but we're going to do it using the command palette. So if we press F1 on our keyboard, we have this option to go Azure sign in. So if you were to type Azure colon sign in, it should give you the option to sign in. So sign straight in. You should have a pop up on your screen. When you have a pop up in your screen and you successfully are logged in, you should see this particular message on your screen. OK, we're going to go ahead and close this. Great. And as you can see, we're in our subscriptions. I'm just going to expand our resource group, and these are the resource groups that we have. Next, we need to go ahead and create our YAML file. So if we go to File, New, copy the YAML template that's been given, so our playbook test, text, paste that. And as you can see, we've got our Create um, Azure uh, Virtual Machine. And this is the name of our template. And we've got our first, our create resources, create virtual network, and add a subnet, create a public IP address. If you have a look through this, you'll notice that you are deploying an entire virtual machine and all of its dependencies. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and save this file. So file save. And we're just going to save it as create.yaml. I've already done this, but I'm going to just rewrite over it. There we go. And next, we're going to go ahead and right click on our file. Now, when you right click on your file, you should see four options run Ansible Playbook in Docker, run Ansible Playbook in Local Ansible, run Ansible Playbook in Cloud Shell, run Ansible Playbook remotely via SSH. We are going to select the second and um, third one. Let's go ahead. And as you can see, it's going through the process now. We are going to go ahead and pause this whilst this completes. So that's completed. So if we just have a brief look, we can see we've got all of our tasks running. So we've got create our resource group. We've got create a virtual network, add the subnet. This essentially is following the file as we have specified. Now what we need to do is check our resource group. Let me press refresh. And there we go. That's, there's our resource group. Now what we're going to do is we're going to open it in a portal. And I'm just going to log into our portal. If you're already logged in, it should go straight in. And there you go. There is our um, Ansible playbook that ran, and it has deployed all of our resources. Um, including the resource group itself and all of the dependency for the virtual machine that exists. Okay, so that is the end of our demonstration.